Hello, all my dear Virgo friends. I have a fabulous forecast for you for October. Um, and I've just got a couple of announcements. Number one, I am looking for a small group of very special people to mentor in astrology. If you are one of them or you think you, if you're interested, just contact me, go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com and send me a message. Um, also, I hope that those of you who have studied or are studying astrology have enjoyed my hidden messages in your birth chart because I'm passionate about finding out, helping people find out their programming that, that went on as children that still owns them till they look at it. And it's in the birth chart. My most recent book goes beyond astrology and uh, in which I use my take back your life method. It's called your first sexual imprinting. And in this time of the Me Too movement, it's vitally important for women to look at their first sexual imprinting because it colors the rest of their life. This book uh, contains stories from 10 very courageous women who have stepped forward and shared their story, their childhood story with me using my take back your uh, life method. And they're giving before and after testimonials. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, okay, let's talk about Virgo. This is just such a wonderful forecast. Okay. First of all, the sun, the giver of life, is in your second house. Wherever the sun is, is where life begins. It's in your second house of money. We could stop right here because everybody wishes this was their chart. On the 23rd, the sun moves into your third house and the emphasis then becomes one of sharing ideas and communicating, uh, writing your book, your blog, your movie. Uh, and whenever we talk about communication, of course, we're talking about Mercury and Mercury is retrograde uh, right now until the 18th of the month when it stops its retrograde motion. And on the 19th begins moving forward. Whenever we have a, a retrograde Mercury, which we do three times a year, you do not want to begin a new project on a retrograde Mercury because it either fizzles out completely or has to be redone within the year, okay? So it's in your second house of money. And so when I say the sun brings uh, life to wherever it is, it is in your second house of money, but with Mercury there, it's two steps forward and one step back until after the 18th. Be gentle with yourself, okay? Now, Mars, the red planet, is in your second house of money too. And wherever Mars is, that's what comes first to you. That's what you throw yourself into. And whatever you throw yourself into grows. And so your money should be increasing beautifully, I would hope, um, after, especially after Mercury goes direct. Now, on the um, 30th of the month, it moves into your third house. And this is you communicating passionately, sharing your ideas. Uh, and this is when I'm saying, write that blog, uh, journal, produce that movie that video, um, you hear what I'm saying. Now, Venus, the planet of love has been in your third house. Your third house deals with siblings. So you might feel both love and a certain anger at a sibling. Um, but with Venus in your third house, you're thinking beautiful thoughts. And on the seventh, Venus moves into your fourth house of home and family. And this is a time when you'll enjoy just being at home, whether or not it's with your family. Just home sweet home, good time to renovate, etc. after Mercury goes direct. 
unless you began the reno that particular renovation before Mercury went retrograde, which it did on the 27th of September. Okay, now let's look at the new and full moons. The new moon on the fifth is in your second house of money. And this is where the energy starts flowing. Oh, it's terrific. That's what the new moon brings new energy and the full moon on the 20th is in 27 degrees aries find that in your birth chart because that's where things come to a head in this case it's in the eighth house of other people's money or joint finances or the psychic realm that eighth house is very very powerful and it can bring mutually productive uh, financial ventures to ahead because it, you'll, it should be easier because Mercury is direct. So there you have it, my dear Virgo friends. This is terrific. And so many people are wishing they were Virgo right now. So join me next month when once again, I share your, your forecast with you. Until then, may the, star, the stars shine brightly, very brightly, and I think they are, on you and yours. Bye for now.